It's really moist and juicy. That might be the best pork chop you've ever made. Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. If you are looking to eat yourself healthy one meal at a time, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight we are going to be making a very easy weeknight dish and it is going to be garlic maple pork chops. So come along with me and let's get started. is a very easy pork chop meal. It happens to be no sugar, low carb, and keto friendly, but it's also delicious for anyone just looking to zhuzh up their pork chop game. So let's go ahead and make our sauce for our garlic maple pork chops. So you are going to need just a small bowl to prepare our glaze in. I'm going to begin with garlic, and I have about a teaspoon and a half of garlic here about three cloves. I have three tablespoons of no sugar ketchup. The maple part of our glaze is going to be maple syrup. I'm using the Chalk Zero brand, but there are other sugar-free maple syrups on the market, and you're going to need about a quarter of a cup. The next ingredient is going to be apple cider vinegar. I happen to be using Bragg's. You can use any kind of apple cider vinegar that you enjoy. I prefer one with the mother, which is the ingredient there that is very good for your gut bacteria. You want about three tablespoons of this. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you could use white vinegar. Our last liquid ingredient is going to be soy sauce, and you want three tablespoons of that as well. Before I combine this, I'm going to add just a few simple seasonings. I'm going to be adding salt and pepper, and I may salt and pepper my pork chops as well. I'm going to be adding a little bit of 21 Seasoning Salute, or you could use an all-purpose herbal seasoning. McCormick makes one, Mrs. Mrs. Dash makes one. I just like this because it's a bunch of seasonings. And the last seasoning is going to be a little bit of ground ginger. So now I'm just going to whisk this all together. So now that we have this incorporated, we can set it aside and begin searing our pork chops. So I have my cast iron skillet here, but you can use a regular skillet, and I have it on medium-high heat, and I have just a little bit of avocado oil in it. I'm going to go ahead and put my pork chops in. I have four bone-in pork chops. Once you have placed your pork chops, in your medium to high preheated skillet. You are going to leave them alone for four minutes. Try and get an even as possible layer of your pork chops. The idea behind doing this is to get a nice brown sear on the first side. Now we are going to flip our pork chops over and once again, get a nice brown sear on the other side for an additional four minutes. I have removed my pork chops from the heat so that I can put my glaze on. I'm going to put my glaze on and then I'm going to let them further cook with the glaze for about three minutes. You want an internal temperature for medium rare pork chop starting at about 145. If you like your pork chop a little more well done than that, then you can go from there. 
I recommend using a meat thermometer. It says 148. Okay, our garlic maple glazed pork chops have reached fully cooked temperature. So I have turned the heat off and I'm going to go ahead and plate them and then we'll let CJ have a taste. Okay, here is the garlic maple glazed pork chop. I made a few oven roasted Brussels sprouts on the side for our dinner and we are going to have CJ give it a taste. Okay, it's time for a delicious pork chop for dinner. Look, I don't know how to talk and smile. Okay, sorry. Well, then don't. <laughs> it smells really good. It looks really good. Good. So I'm looking forward to trying it. Okay. So now we went and got some really fancy pork chops for YouTube. <laughs> Costco fancy. Yeah. So that looks really like it's perfect. I know a lot of times people with pork chops, they like to get them too dry. They think there shouldn't be any pink. There shouldn't be any pink, but... That's not the case. Yeah, so um, as you showed, you use a meat thermometer, and I'll be interested to see how that tastes. Okay. Mmm. That's really moist. And juicy. That might be the best pork chop you've ever made. Thanks, baby. We've had a lot of conversations. <laughs> we have a running gag. <laughs> We've had a lot of conversations about pork chops. And I really do think this is the best pork chop you've ever made. Thanks. Good job, baby. Thank you. I think people will like it. It's very easy. And like you mentioned about the temperature, they can... We'll put a link to like where you can see temperatures. And, and I'll put a photo in my blog post that, you, that is actually a visual of the different temperatures. Yeah. So, that's really good, baby. Really juicy. Good. Really moist and flavorful. Awesome. Bye. Bye.